You cannot read because you are over 40. Okay, let's talk about the laser treatment for presbyopia. We will talk about the 10 steps that you have to go through before we make the decision. And at the end, I'll tell you a secret. One eye for distance and the other eye for reading. So, so both, both eyes will work, work together. We start with full history taking, including any eye disease, such as glaucoma or dry eye, and any general disease, such as diabetes or inflammatory disorders, in addition to any medical or surgical treatments. Then we do a comprehensive eye exam for anterior and posterior parts of the eye. After that, we test the tear film and perform corneal imaging to be sure that the candidate is eligible for this type of treatment. Then we check vision and refraction for distance and near to determine the best difference that we will create. Next, we check muscular balance and eye movements to exclude any imbalance that will have an adverse effect on the result if missed. Determination of the dominant eye is important to select the best eye for reading and the other eye for distance. One of the important measurements is the accommodation amplitude to define the functional age of the candidate. After deciding the final refraction to be treated, the effect of the inter-eye difference on stereoacuity should be refined accurately to avoid loss of job and affecting the quality of life. The final refraction should be tried in the clinic with a frame so the candidate can check if they are happy and if their brain tolerates the difference. Finally, the patient should use contact lenses with the final refraction to experience the real life by driving, reading, working on the computer, and practicing their hobbies. If the candidate passes all the 10 steps successfully, the procedure can be done. But the secret is the result of this procedure is temporary. Five years maximum. Don't tell anybody, 